All right, here, how do you now install and download Figma for your mobile? For those using mobile, you can use mobile for designs, but you can use them to view your designs and view prototypes. All right, so what's happening right here is um, this project, you can see some connections, editing and prototyping going on here. All right, so this line, this connection, this prototype. All right, so you can use um, your mobile to view it, right? Or you can use mobile to create okay okay so how do you get the application just go to um the address and um, dot com just add slash put slash download slash downloads so when you add slash downloads it's going to redirect you to where you will get um that's figma.com slash downloads all right so you can come down figma downloads you can come down you can see desktop applications mobile applications and font installers all right so now uh, if you're using mac you can click the first one if you're using windows you can click the second one and um, yes windows second one mac first one if it's mobile application for ios or android you can click this you're going to direct to play store so that one you can use your phone to get it you can go, just go to play store and just type figma it's going to show you so for me, I'm using Windows. I'm going to click the Windows and um, it's... All right, as I've clicked it, it has started downloading. All right, just click the one you need that started downloading over here. You can see it, Figma set up 130, 130, 13 megabytes. All right, that started downloading. So um, I have Figma already, but I'm still going to wait for it to download. You can see that it's... it's is Figma setup two because I've, I have one already installed. But um, since it has almost downloaded, I will allow it to download, all right? And then I will reinstall it. So once that is downloaded, it's pretty simple. Once it's downloaded, I think it's done. All right, it's done. So I'm going to click this folder icon to open in folder. So it's going to open downloads for me. And then you're going to see, um, you're going to see it right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you can right click and run as an administrator or just open directly. So I'm going to open this. Okay, I'm going to open it and then I'm going to, you're going to see the setup for me. I've already set my own up. So um, if you haven't set it up before, you might see a different interface. Right, you can see that mine has opened. All right, so um, from here too, you can create accounts if you don't have anyone. Um, but since I've shown you how to create your account, you can now click login with browser. So once you click, once you click login with browser, once you click login with browser, it's going to take you to your browser uh, to Figma login. So you click. Continue with what Google because that was what you used, except if you used the other method where you put your email and password. So I'm going to click continue with Google. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to now pick um, a particular email I've used for the account creation. And that's going to be all. So it's, you can see it's, it has authenticated. And I can now click open desktop app. All right. I can now click open desktop app. Or if you want to log in with another account, you can do that below. Uh, click Open Desktop app, and then um, click Open Figma, and then it's loading right here, and my account is going to be authenticated. So um, uh, some of my projects are going to show here. So um, all right, so that's that. So that's how to create an account. All right, so bye for now. Okay, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, you make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, um, and share. All right, so see you in the next um, tutorial upload. Bye.